now that you've gone through the slides um, on the history topic of evacuation, um, your task is to write a letter home as if you were an evacuated child. So I want you to have a look at this plan. And this will help you to organise your writing. So you're going to write six paragraphs in your letter home. And you're going to describe your experience of being evacuated. And this is a, a very good practice um, for you for when you do your diary in literacy. So in the first section, this is our introduction, of course. You're going to explain why you're writing. So it's dear whoever you're writing to back at home. And here are some um, sentence starters uh, to give you some ideas. I am writing to tell you, let you know. Well, I've arrived. Um, you could think of some of your own as well. I have finally got here. Eventually, I arrived at my destination. And just this is just going to be a short paragraph at the beginning, just to explain to your people at home that you have arrived at your evacuation. And you can make up a name of a village that you've been evacuated to. Maybe it's Budmouth Point, like in Letters from the Lighthouse. And then in paragraph two, you're going to describe your journey there. Now, we've got to chapter six in Letters from the Lighthouse, and we've already had some descriptions of the train journey that um, Olive and Cliff took to get to Budmouth Point. I wonder what kind of train journey you're going to have uh, as an evacuated child. Perhaps it was a very exciting journey. Perhaps you were looking out of the window at all the, the things going past, the trees and the forests and the rivers. Maybe you saw animals in a field. Maybe you had a very unpleasant journey because the train was crowded. Maybe like Esther Jenkins in the book, um, there was a child there who wasn't very nice to you and, and stole your things. So I want you to plan, think about what kind of journey you had. Again, here are some sentence starters to help you. The journey here was very unpleasant, could have been rather exciting, a bit emotional. Unfortunately or fortunately, um, these are some very good sentence openers for you. Remember, I want you to use your literacy skills. We've learnt about a variety of sentence openers. Don't forget those commas after them. Um, we are, we're learning at the moment about suffixes on words. So think about the sentence openers. Think about your relative clauses, those comma who, comma which, comma where, comma when sentences. Try and get some of those in as well. And some really, really good vocabulary because we're very good at that in class L. So the second paragraph is describing your journey. Then you're going to move on to paragraph three, which is the billeting process. That's how you were placed with your host family. Again, a couple of sentence opener ideas for you. If you've got your own, use your own. When we arrived, the billeting officer, um, and I would refer you to go back to Letters from the Lighthouse. Um, if, you, if you're not too sure, Give it another listen. Give those particular chapters another listen to remind yourself of what happened. Now, Olive and Cliff went into, a, they got off the bus. They were taken to a hall and there were all kinds of, of ladies there who wanted various children to work on their farms and help in their shops and things like that. And they could choose the children that they wanted. And Olive and Cliff were left with the last ones to be chosen. Um, so if you're not too sure, go back to those chapters. Give them another listen to remind yourself. Then paragraph four, you're going to your new home and your new family. OK, so a paragraph to describe what those people are like. Maybe they're very friendly people and you think you're going to you're going to be all right and have a good time with them. Maybe you think they're going to work you really hard because they own a farm and they're going to get you to milk the cows and and muck out the horses and things like that. OK, what do you think of your new family? Maybe the, the grown-ups are OK, but maybe there are some children there who don't want to share their things with you and you think you're going to have some trouble with you and you can tell that by the way they look at you when you go into the house. Um, paragraph five. This is more about 
um, your thoughts and your feelings, your emotions. What are you going to miss about home? What are you looking forward to? What are you worried about now that you've got into your new home and you're settled? Again, some sentence starter ideas for you there. And then the final paragraph, paragraph six, is your conclusion, where you just reflect and you say, well, it's it's been quite a good day. There Perhaps there have been some unfortunate things in the day, or maybe maybe you, you've had a very exciting day, or maybe you've had a very emotional day and you're very tired, you're exhausted, and you're not really looking forward to the next day because you know it's going to be hard work. Uh, and then you need to sign your letter off. So just some ideas there, some sentence starters. I want you to think very, very carefully about each section and what you are going to put into it. So write yourself some notes. Make sure that you are going to put in all of those literacy skills, those writing skills that you have learnt. Um, and when you've planned it out and you know what you're going to write about in each paragraph, can you write your evacuee letter? Be very careful with punctuation. I would suggest you write a paragraph, check it, correct it, and make sure all those capital letters, full stops, exclamation marks and question marks, which must be in there, make sure they're okay, and then move on to the next paragraph. Make sure you've got all those skills in there, and let's make it really, really interesting and emotional. You are a child who's being evacuated.